Hello, 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 hello guys. Welcome back to another video. This is the Football Connect. I'm your host Sam and we are back again with another one as we will be looking at all the games that are going to be played this week. We have some amazing games that we're going to be looking at and we want to try to predict how the season, how the week or how the lineup of the game will look like at the end of this one. So this is the prediction show people. Do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the Connect and we are back again with the Football Connect. But before we go to football, Let's talk about some new introductions that are going to be put into football. So according to the news that were bro which was brought today to the rest of the world, that FIFA clears up the proposal that they'll see left referees seeing uh, that they'll see referees given blue cards with fans divided on the issue. Yes, we are all divided in the issue. So let's try to explain what the FIFA is talking about. So they are saying FIFA has responded to the proposal to hand the referees blue cards in a move that will allow match officials to sin bin players. In other words, what this means is that currently whenever a, ref a referee is not happy about some tackles, they just give yellow cards. And so many yellow cards, you get a red card. For example, the red card that Konate got, you'd wonder that it was not like similarly or even better off than what we saw happening from Gabriel. But the interesting part is this, Gabriel get away with one yellow card while Konate got a red card. So th those are some decisions that maybe could have been what forced the sin bin to actually happen. So what exactly is the sin bin? What exactly does this really blue card really represent? Remember, we have these problems of the things that we're complaining about. When we a player kicks the ball away, he gets a yellow card. Or when a player tries to go fight with the referee, he gets a yellow card and stuff like that. So... I don't know exactly how far this has gone, but what we are being told by the football association, they are saying that players will be punished with, with the blue cards whenever they try to go do like what Man City does on top of the referees whenever they are fighting, or when Bruno Fernandes is throwing hands or even trying to attack referees for the officials or the other ones that will be outside. The players will be getting what they call the blue card, which means that they go outside, wait a bit, and try to find themselves, and uh, maybe come back in the game whenever they're feeling it. Okay, so the problem that we have had with this one is this. We have so many tacticals or the people who say that they've lived for the culture of the game and they love the game the way it is. But let's face it, people. Every single time the game has come on to something else, there are always rules that are changing. We didn't know of the VAR, it is them. We are complaining about it, but it's also a rule which has been put. How many times have we seen the 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 goalkeeper rules being changed on how to take a pen, how, the, how they should save on a penalty and stuff like that? So many things are always being changed by the when we come to football, when it comes to football rules and stuff like that. The rule book has been written so many times in this recent years that now people no longer actually understand where the tackle happens. Let's talk about, for example, where people, how people should be caught offside. You'd see that it used to be the whole body or any part of the body. Now they're talking about it has to start from this angle. There are a lot of things that are always changing. And I think we can also put this blue card in it as well as one of those decisions where we are going to see exactly what happens to what happen what will really happen does this mean that players will stop from trying to go and uh, wrestle a ref or try to fight with the referee or something like that and th is the team allowed to make a substitute to a player who has been seen being and what does that mean does that player means that he has to save that same you know that same now time that the player who's in sin bin is saving and how many sin bins do you have to get or yellow uh, blue cards you have to get for you to be given a red card or oh, how many and which one is the biggest of the them of the blue card or the yellow card we want to know exactly where things stands right now because of course we are going to see a lot of players going out of the field it means that the card holds value because it takes the player out of this one. So does it mean that before you go to the red card, you actually have to pass through the blue card? There's a lot of things that we still need some understanding over and actually understand where to go from this. Not exactly saying that I'm coming here to complain like what other people are doing, complaining about what this thing, what this blue card is going to destroy football, how it's going to work. Let's not look at the fact that you are worried of how your beloved game is being changed. Let's actually try to find out exactly the validity of this card 
what's gonna happen and also i don't think i've seen yet in all the articles that i've been read, re, re, reading where exactly or oh, this scene being cut will be introduced does this mean does this mean it will be introduced next year 2025 2026 season or what does this mean because what the fifa media just said was that fifa wished to clarify the reports of so-called the blue card at elite level football club are incorrect and premature any such trials is implemented should be limited to testing in the response manner at a lower level position position and uh, it's it's something that is there on on x so you should go check it out because they are trying to give some clarity over this at lower level position the a position that fifa intends to reattract when the agenda in terms of the discuss of the ifb agm or two match or, or on the two of match or something like that so it means that this is something that they are still going to try to test they're not even sure yet how they're going to put it out so he, of course the fact that they've given an, an allow in terms of it being tested into the lower leagues or in into the leagues where they always to try to do their low their testings and see what happens then maybe we might see being introduced maybe in 2026 2027 season you never know there's still some time to find out exactly where this will go but at this moment people know that the scene being could be coming to food boys we know it but let's just not try to throw it away let's give it time and find out what's going to happen as we go forward anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section over the scene being are you a fan of it do you agree with it do you even like it what are you expecting there are so many people who are complaining about this but we're going to give it time let's find out what happens